Welcome back. This is Bill Papoon, Managing Partner with Construction Science. In this episode, we're going to look at creating a very simple filter that I will typically use on every project. I very rarely want to print all the activities that are on the screen. I am usually only looking at a portion of them. And of course, the look ahead schedule is a perfect example where we only want to see the activities scheduled to occur during the next four to six weeks or some other time frame such as that. So we're going to create a filter that will help us see only the activities that are coming up within the next five weeks. We go to filter. And because this is version 8.1, you'll see it's a two-step process for opening up the menu. And we are going to create a brand new one. We will call it a five-week look ahead. Now, all filters work off of some very simple parameters. In this instance, I want to find activities that have not started but are scheduled to start within the next five weeks. So we're going to come in here on the first line, and we're going to search on start, not early start. If you attend one of our training sessions, you'll understand why early start and early finish are no longer date fields that we want to use once the schedule has been progressed. But we're going to pick start, and we're going to pick as an option within range. Obviously, we're looking for a range of dates. The value, or what we used to call low value in Primavera P3, will simply be the data date. So we click on the three dots here, and we see that option. For the high value, it will be five weeks beyond the data date. So we come in here, click on this field, select DD for data date. Then I'm going to come back in here manually, insert a plus sign, the number 5, and the letter W. Primavera knows by default, under the preferences, that W is an abbreviation for a week. We do not need to spell it out. However, on an updated schedule, I might also have some activities that are in progress. So I want to pick these up as well, ones that have been started but are not done yet. They certainly belong on a look-ahead schedule. So we're going to add another line. And in this instance, it's a little bit simpler. I'm looking for a particular type of activity status. So we select under the parameter, let's go down to the A's, activity status equals, and there's only three types of status, not started, completed, or the one we're looking for, in progress. So anything that's been started but not completed yet will show up on our filter. However, we have a problem. This filter will not give us any results. And this is one of my favorite filters to show because of this problem. You'll notice the first line says we're looking for activities that have not started yet but are scheduled to start within the next five weeks. But we're also saying that the activities we're looking for should have already been started. They should be in progress. Clearly, no activity can be, meet both of those criteria of having not started and started. So we need to come in here and click on this phrase where it says all of the following in parentheses. Select the other option. And notice how this word will change right here. It goes from and to or. This will work. We're obviously interested in both of these possible uh, results. Activities in progress for the next five weeks activities that have started. We click OK, and we make sure it's selected, and we hit Apply. And now we'll see activities that are scheduled within the next five weeks. They show up on our printout, as well as those activities as represented by blue lines to the left of the data date. These are activities that are clearly in progress but are not completed yet. And that is a very simple filter. In our next episode, we'll talk about creating a filter to find out-of-sequence work, work that's not being performed 
as we expected it to be. To learn more about our training sessions, please visit us at www.constructionscience.com or feel free to email me or call anytime you'd like. Thank you.